Hey guys, welcome to the channel again. Today, I just want to share with you guys a little bit about some of the connections plumbers are using nowadays when doing the plumbing. It used to be, you know, you get a copper like this and you get copper fittings and, you know, you glue, you use your, your torch and, uh, and, you know, and solder all these things together. But nowadays, there's a lot of technology and different things that have been created that are more easy to use more user friendly and works really well so i just wanted to share a few of the things as some of the connections that i have used and has saved a ton of time for me and i didn't have to go sold the stuff and and worry about maybe the connections are not perfect or are not fitting correctly these are some of some these are the two types of connection that i've used to do my plumbing that i've worked and saved me a ton of time so if you like stuff like this and, and enjoy learning how to do these type of things and DIY stuff, then I'll ask you to stick around and let's let's learn together. All right, all right, let's go. So I'm gonna start with the with the with the shock bike. Uh, when you go by the good Lowe's, Home Depot, you're gonna find uh, these type of things in this type of packages. It's, it's, it's gonna say a shock bike and a shock bike. They look like this and it's more like a compression type of connections and stuff. And when you're using this, you have to use a copper like this. I've, used, I've seen some people using like this PEX on, a, on, on these type of things as well. So I think there's so much has changed so much. So you can use, it used to be just use this and then PEX came by and now we can use shack bites uh, with copper and these specs materials all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys how i use this and how, how i love this because if you mess up you can always take it apart and, and 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 fix it i just don't i haven't figured out the best way to take pecs apart when you use a compression uh, and i'll show you guys in a little bit if you use a, a, a clamp or a crimper to crimp it and how to take the crimps off of these things but let's let's start with with the shack bite so when you're doing a shack bite usually you're gonna have to clean up your your copper and I use these tools and this is for three and a half and, and a half inch. Uh, so you just put it in here and just slide it in here and just clean it up a little bit and make it smooth and clean, you know. And there's like this, this, this yellow orange tool right here that I use to just measure how far I need to go. This is like a really good tool if, you, if you're going to be using shark bites. So you, you put it in here and you, you know like how far you're supposed to clean. So like for example, this one, clean about, about an inch. And if you put it in this right here, it shows you exactly where you're supposed to go. And you can use this even when you're doing like your solders, soldering and stuff. All right, so once it's clean like this, it looks, it looks clean. Oh, basically, basically what you're gonna do is just slide it in here. And it's like the easiest, easiest plumbing connection that you can, I think, out there. So basically just put it in here and you just push it really hard and it connects. And once it's connecting, it will not come off. It's done. And you have a strong, good connections. Uh, some people have complained, I've seen like online people complaining that this shack bites are no, they're not good connections, they fail. Uh, in some cities and counties, inspectors don't want this type of connections, they want like different type of connections, they want to actually sold this stuff. Uh, but where I'm from, my, my county uh, building uh, department doesn't doesn't mind if you use this shack bites. All right, so this is, this is all connected, it's, you cannot take this apart. But... If, for example, you put it on the wrong side and, and you're like stuck, you don't need to cut this copper. You can use this tool right here uh, that you can buy when you're buying, when you're on, on the eye when, where they sell these shack bites. One side is bigger, one, this side is bigger and this side is smaller. So you're gonna put the bigger side on here. Basically, you put it over here. It goes, it just goes like on top of this like that. If you can see it, I'm trying to show it on the camera. Wow. And once you put it in here, you just basically push it and you can just pull, you can pull your uh, copper out of this thing. So, so basically you put it that and it pushes the compression thing in a copper. It's hard when, it's, when you don't have something on this side to pull. But you just basically put it in here and just keep pulling like that. And this comes off. There you go. And this is, this is out already. So you put this larger side on top of this and then this side pushes this plasticky thing inside and then the copper will come off. Let's try it again, so I almost dropped my camera. But you you clean this, then you shove it, you clean your copper like that with the cleaning tool. This is this is my favorite. They're all different kinds. There's bigger ones, smaller ones, and it's, it's clean like that. And then you just push this copper in here and you'll fill. 
And if you measure with this, you would know that you push it enough. That it's all the way in, and this is connected. All right, and to remove it, you use this tool, put it like that, and then you, it's easy when you pull it on this side, because you need, you need, you need to have some leverage. But you can see it's coming off, like I told you guys, you just have to make sure that it's on there, and it just pull it. If I had a plies, I would just pull this and pull that out. Or if you put it on a clamp and hold it like this, this would just come off pretty simple, okay? But let me remove it so we can try it on this, okay? There you go. So that's out. That's one connection they can use in your plumbing work, uh, in your DIY work. And the same thing you can use on this. With these specs things, really there's not much of a cleaning you have to do. Just make sure there's no like uh, stuff here that might hold the breeze or anything. Just make sure that it's, it's cleaner. And all you do is just push it in here. The same, the same idea. You just push it into this pipe in here and it just connects. But I think with the pecs, you have to remove the, the plastic in here and you put it, like, for example, on this side and it just connects. So with the pecs, with copper, you have to have that plastic thing. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a plastic thing in here. This has to be in here for copper. But for pecs, you have to remove this plastic thing and then it will just hold in here, okay? And it's the same idea if you want to remove it. You just use the same tool. It's easier when, uh, uh, when you use the same tool and you just use the same tool and put it in here and pull these specs off of it. There you go. And there you go. I already removed it. It's not connected there. I go. It's, it's free now from this. All right. So that's one way you can do your, your plumbing connections using these shark bites. Okay. So let's put that over there. Um, and then... Now we're going to try to, I'm going to show you how to, to use a crimper when you're using pecs for your plumbing. Okay, so let's put all this on the side. So for you to use, a, uh, to crimp things on this, you're going to have to buy this tool at uh, uh, Home Depot at Lowe's. Uh, it's called Pex Clamp Tool. Okay, and it's also made by Shark Bites. And then you're going to buy, once you buy this tool right here, you're going to buy some of these uh, uh, clamps. That comes that you will use for your for your connections. So I will grab a couple of these. They, they look like this, and then you use your tool to, to it, it goes into this little indent right here, and then it just crimp it and holds. All right. So I'm gonna show you. Uh, so for for to use a a, a pex, you have to buy connections that ha that look like this. Uh, this one looks a little bigger, it won't go in here. But to use a crimp, you have to, so if you're using this type, you're going to have to get a half inch that will go in here. This is more like three quarters. It won't go in this hole right now. So if you had a three quarter pipe, like for example on here, this will go in, in something like that. Now three quarters this one. And it will slide in here. And then I put a crimper on top of this. All right, that makes sense. So basically, you put a you put you slide this in here, and then if you you put the connection that you want to crimp, and then you get your tool. Let me get the tool out so you can see. I have a habit of like taping these things so they don't fall. But let me just get it so you guys can see. So the crimper, the crimper looks like this. And so you open it like that, and then it has like a little gap that opens up here, and then this crimper goes in here like that. So for example, let me just crimp this for this for the heck of it. It's not gonna it's not gonna make any difference because there's no pipe in here. Uh, there's no like uh, copper in here to crimp. But basically, you just put it in here like that. You open it, and then you put a a crimper like that, and you just crimp it, and then just hold it like that. And, and that connection is on. I'm just to crimp it on top of this. Don't know if you can see that. You can remove this is permanent. So and if there there was copper in here uh, with these grooves right here, the crimper holds like holds this super tight in here, and you can't take it off. All right. So I'm gonna try maybe next time to get like a a copper connection that goes into uh, one of these half inch or maybe three quarters of a, and then we can we can crimp this together so you can see. But this is the tool. This is how it looks. It opens like that. 
and then and then it closes like that to crimp. When it's closed, it, it crimps it, it closes it like that. And then when you open it, there's that gap right there. Like that. All right, and it goes like that. So these are some of the tools that if you're gonna be doing plumbing, you're probably gonna have to invest in, buy some of these uh, clamps. I love these things. Uh, I've used it on some of my DIY projects. Uh, this is half inch for that. So if you're doing that three quarter, you're gonna get three quarters diam uh, diameters of a pipe like this, okay? So just wanted to share some of my plumbing tools, things that I've used and I really like, and I hope this will help you too, like when you try to do your plumbing and you're scared about soldering things, like most, most every, I think every, a lot of people don't like that solder. Some people really enjoy it, I don't. Sometimes you ensure like some of the corners, are, like some some corners of the house is like the, it's very difficult to get into. But with this crimp, you just put your pipe there, and you can get into like very tricky corners and crimp it. You don't have to worry about like t uh, you know lighting up your torch or burning some wood up, and it's just scares you to use a torch to solve the stuff in some areas of the house. Okay. All right. So yeah. Like I said, this is a really cool tool. If you if you use a copper, you have to make sure that this plastic thing is in here so you can slide this in. I'm gonna slide it again. Uh, and if you're using picks, you remove that plastic and then you just push this thing in. And um, then you have your connection. So that's solid connection. They're called, this is called shock bite. This is a PEX clamp tool to clamp. Uh, this, this stuff on the PEX for your work, for your plumbing and then you just buy some of these shack bites all right uh, pex clamps all right so just wanted to share see if you guys you might like this and you have to buy whatever you want to connect on pex that has this this type of connection right here it has to look like this for you to use this uh, drop a comment ask me questions you want me to do this again or repeat or show you some of my how these things works on different sides i have different type of pex pipes i just didn't have it at the moment it's in uh, it's in a uh, storage and i didn't want to go out there so i just clamp it on that so so this is a tool right here you can buy this a little home depot amazon you can buy it there's bigger ones that uh, it's a different type of clamp it's up to you whatever you want to use i like this better than the round ones this works all the time for me okay yeah so some of the tools you're gonna have to buy is these cutters for to cut your copper cutters this is the remover to remove this if you by accident it did it didn't connect to right this is my cleaner brush uh, got this side that can clean inside this side that can clean uh, in here if i needed to and then over here and then this is for the bigger three quarter of an inch pipe there it is hope this helped you i gave you some confidence you can do your plumbing and you don't you need to hire a plumber. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing to hire a plumber, but sometimes it saves you some money, a little bit of a money to just do things by yourself. All right, have a good one.